The plague persists. The struggle for justice continues. But for now, a moment of rest and a moment of peace. This is Lockdown Bard. Ireland is fairly unique in that it is the only country in the world that has a musical instrument as its national symbol. The national symbol of Ireland is, of course, the harp. Now, this is my own harp. It's not a reproduction of a, an early Irish harp. The Celtic harp, the Irish harp, would have had a sound box that was carved from one piece of wood with a back pressed onto it and nailed and probably glued as well. The strings would have been made of metal wire usually brass, bronze, silver and gold, depending on what length and thickness they were using. And the sound holes in the sound box wouldn't have been on the back like with this harp, they would have been on the front. The most high-ranking profession in ancient Ireland was the profession of musician. Musicians were ranked just slightly below actual nobility and royalty and the most highly ranking musician would have been the harpist. The harp was introduced to Ireland by Viking settlers and the Irish then changed it to suit their purposes, their use. The Irish harp is spread throughout Ireland and parts of Scotland as well. The harp was used as accompaniment for poetry. The harpist would usually be a poet themselves. There were many traditional melodies that were played and each melody would have a whole selection of poems or, or songs that were written to fit that particular melody. Which is why you will often hear the same melody for many, many different sets of lyrics. With that little bit of history, out of the way, I'm going to read our poem for today, which is called To a Harp. O oh, harp of Canuck e Hosker, that bringest sleep to eyes lan wakeful, thou of the sweet and delicate moan, pleasant, refreshing grave. O oh, choice instrument of the smooth, gentle curve, Thou that criest under red fingers, musician that hast enchanted us, a red harp, high-souled, perfect in melody. Thou that lurest the bird from the flock, that coolest the heart, brown, sweet-speaking, speckled one, fervent, wondrous, passionate. Thou healer of every wounded warrior, Charm that beguilest women, familiar guide over the dark water, music mystic and sweet. Thou silencer of all instruments of music, shining, tuneful instrument. Thou dweller among the children of Khan, thou stout, dark, yellow tree. Thou favourite of the learned, restless, smooth one, sweetly musical, red star over elf mounds, breast jewel of the high kings. O oh, sweet and gentle flowers, O oh, brown harp of Diarmid, O oh, shape dear to every company, thou voice of the cuckoos in May, I have heard of no music like thy structure after the Tua de Dana. O branch dark and fine, lovely, fair, glorious. O sound of the beach against the gentle wave, shadowy tree of true melody. Feasts are consumed beside thee, O voice of the swan on bright stream. O oh, cry of fairy women from the mound of Lear, no music can match thine. Under thy guidance, every house is sweet-stringed, thou pinnacle of harp music. 
or else thou are the ash tuck fall on. Mananons me and Glorok, gracious queens, go to thy house to visit thee, O harp. Or Ingus had thee in Bruna Boyne, where the roads are smooth, it will perplex a scholar, the Elchioloch was thy name. From Mananon, over the calm sea, Finvar got a harp like thee. No safer bond could be found, named Brega Banatrakta. Thou wast Bav Darug's magic ball with. Many is the crimson spot in thy lovely curve. From thy coming every house is flecked with loveliness. O crimson plaited branch, O harp. The faith cluen of Ilvrak of Asaro, shapely harp of cooling melody. Calmly it spoke on every side, music like thine, O harp. Thy other name will be the Taed Vim, when the son of Donica of Doro has thee. Such strings thou didst bring into his house, that thy fame increased, O harp. Now we shall give another name to thee, O selfsame harp. By thy fame, battle's stern rage is stilled. Thou art Diarmid's Dindyarag. In Diarmid's possession, it is most likely that thou shouldst be famous, O noble harp. It were unnatural to be in envious of his house. It is no castle where harps are hidden. O Connor of Con City, grandson of O Meleglin, happy men envy thy house. Thy castle is a weir of harps. The eulogy of Columkill, there is no music sweeter throughout. It will bring me at the time of prayer to the house of mercy. The shepherding of Peter of the Grecian port I deem sufficient to keep me from sin. Behind me thy restraining staff, yonder in the fort of divinity. So great is the mirth in the smooth dwelling of Magion, who won reverence, that there will be so great is the mirth in the smooth dwelling of Magowan, who won reverence that there will be a bare hill on every side from the playing of his harps. I hope you all enjoyed that poem, and I hope you are all coping well with everything that is happening right now. Keep doing your best, keep holding on, and thank you.